So now let's look at the ways in which we can take screenshots inside of Microsoft Windows 10. So one of the traditional ways to take screenshot is to press the print screen option, the print screen button on your keyboard. So I just pressed it right now. So then after that, what you can do is you can go to an app like, let's say I'm going to just go to a uh, WordPad right over here and I'm going to press Control V and that's how you get my screen snipping right over here. So you can see both my screen right here, the uh, monitoring screen and my main screen right over here. So that's the traditional way. Uh, if you have upgraded to the latest version of Windows 10, you'll actually have this option. You can go to the notification area and you can go to screen snip. So once you actually click on this, you can see right over here, there's a rectangular snip right over there. So once you actually click on this and click and drag it right over here, you can see that you can select a particular area of the screen and take its screenshot just like that. So you can just click on this and then it gives you a lot of options actually. So not a lot, basic option to actually draw something from ballpoint pen, some mark something, highlight something, and then you can save this out over here onto desktop and then just save it out. So you can save it out as an image file right over here. So that's one way. There's some other option over here as well. So as you go to the notification area and as you go on to screen snipping, there's something or an option to actually give you a free form snip. So you can actually click on this and free form draw on the screen area. And that's how you get that screen area right over here. So just like that, there's other option on screen snipping as well. So there's window snip. So once you actually click on this, it captures the window that is on this screen right over here. So once you actually go over here, I'm, I'm going to click here on the start menu and over here, that is the taskbar and you can see that there's the screen snip of the taskbar right over here. So you can actually click on any window and it'll take a snip of that. You can also go over here onto screen snip and then take the entire screenshot just like this. So this is the traditional print screen SYSQ right over there. So these are the options which are actually provided by the screen snip that is available over here on the notification area. So that's one way. The other way to take a screen snip is to go to your windows and then you can simply search for snipping tool. So I'm typing SNIPP and then once you actually click on snipping tool, you access new tool. So you can actually go to new right here and then click and drag it to actually select that area right here and then take a screenshot. So this is a different tool actually. So the one you find over here is a different tool. The one, uh, the snipping tool, which is actually built in into Windows. This is also accessible in older version of Windows. So. Uh, if you were to actually use that, this is a different tool and it gives you different functions as you can see. So it gives you red pen, blue pen, black custom pen and so forth. You can also take it to paint 3D just like that. You can also click on new and then over here you can select out some area and then take a screen clipping right over here just like this and save it out. So these are the ways in which you can actually take screenshots in different ways inside of Microsoft Windows 10. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.